Today, we will uh, discuss you a few points about fetal imaging. In fetal imaging, we are going to discuss about the NT scan. So, what does this NT stand for? The NT is an abbreviation for nuchal translucency. This is nothing but a fluid filled space on the back side of the baby's neck. So, why are we doing this scan? This scan is done as a marker. This nuchal translucency is a marker for a Down's syndrome. The next question is, when should I do this scan? This scan is normally done between 11 to 14 weeks of fetal growth. Here, I am insisting on the term fetal growth because there are times when the lady will be having irregular periods and the baby's growth may be slightly varying from person to person. So, the NT scan is done only when the baby's growth is between 11 to 14 weeks. I personally will do it somewhere around the 13 weeks. What does this NT scan give me? This NT scan gives me two major things. The first is the morphological assessment of the baby. So by saying morphology, what am I going to do? I look for the baby's head, whether it is developed for the period of gestation, the baby's heart, whether I am able to see the structures of the heart clearly, the baby's hands, the baby's legs, whether they are seen, not seen. Alongside, I will also try and see whether there is any major abnormality. So this completes the morphological assessment at 11 to 14 weeks. Mind you, this is not an anomaly scan, but we call it as an early morphological scan where major abnormalities in the baby can be detected. Alongside, I will also be doing the genetic risk assessment by using nuchal translucency as the major marker. This nuchal translucency along with the presence or absence of a nasal bone and other structures like tricuspid regurgitation and the ductus venosus flow form up, up to four parameters based on which we will give you a risk that the baby is prone for or the risk for Down syndrome. Alongside all these things, here we are, I would like to stress on the point, we are not going to tell whether the baby is normal or abnormal. We are going to give you a risk indicator. So, by, by what are we going to do by this risk? If the risk is high, then we need to have a genetic counselling beyond which we will be uh, taking the pregnancy forward on a case-to-case -case basis. If the risk is low, it is as good as a normal pregnancy. So, should I do any other test along with this nuchal translucency? Yes. You will be doing something called as a double markers, which is a blood test, which will be done alongside this one. So, in a nutshell, nuchal translucency scan gives you an advantage to look at the baby's structures, major structures, at least the hands, limbs, etc., as well as to give you a basic risk assessment or the first trimester combined risk assessment along with double markers as to where the baby stands in terms of uh, risk of being a Down syndrome or uh, Edwards syndrome or Patau syndrome. This will help you in planning the pregnancy forward. For any further clarifications, we are always available here, the team in Apollo Shashadiripuram to guide you further with care. Thank you. Jai Hind.